The Supreme Court ruled to uphold a gun law to protect victims of domestic violence. The justices ruled eight to one in favor of a 30 year ban on firearms for people who have domestic violence restraining orders against them. Our Dion Guillory is here to explain tonight what the ruling might mean for us here in Louisiana. Dion. Well, Greg, people who work with domestic abuse victims say the high court's decision is a win. Gun advocates agree, but say it makes the legal process more complicated for some. Advocates for domestic abuse victims applaud the nation's highest court, the justices keeping in place a decades-old federal gun law that prohibits people under domestic violence restraining orders from having guns. Rebecca Rainey with Metro Centers for Community Advocacy says she was surprised. This is this is a huge victory. It's it's very, very good to see that, that survivors are coming first. Rainey says more than half of domestic violence survivors are murdered with guns or firearms. Some gun rights advocates say the court made the right decision, but it doesn't clear up the complexities of domestic violence law. The primary one, though, that we have concerns with is really regarding the burden of proof for the protective orders to be granted. Domestic violence has been an issue in Louisiana for years. A survey conducted by Tulane earlier this year found that half of Louisiana adults have encountered some form of violence from a current or former partner, with more than 200,000 adults experiencing such violence within the past year. It found that intimate partner violence cost the state more than $150,000 per survivor per year. That equals $10.1 billion in medical expenses, lost productivity, and criminal justice spending. Rainey hopes the law could expand to save more lives. I'd love to see dating partners get included in this. Um, right now, they're only included if, if the victim has a baby or if they live together. 70 women a month on average are shot and killed by intimate partners. That's according to the gun control group, Every Town for Gun Safety. Greg. All right, Dion, thank you for that.